Hey y'all, the holidays are here, aren't they? I know, whether we're ready or not. <laughs> ready or not, here they come. So um, today I wanna make, this is going to be our New Year's meal. But you could honestly make this for a Christmas meal. You can make it for any dinner, really, any time of the year. And it's very good. It's just considered good luck. I don't exactly believe in good luck, but it's a fun little tradition, right? I know. And traditions are not going to change. So um, what I want to share with y'all today is a roasted pork roast with apple cider gravy. That sounds good, doesn't it? First thing I have is I, my roast is six and a half pounds. It's bone in, and you could do it as small as four pounds or something. So don't don't sweat that if you don't want one this big, or you can get bigger, whatever you need. And I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm scoring into this fat cap on top. This is real good to melt down into this meat and keep it moist and make it tender and flavorful. But I want to get some seasoning down in here. So I'm scoring down to where I do get past the fat, okay? Because I want to keep that fat too. Right here, right here. I'm just going diagonally like that across, okay? And now I'm going to cross that and we're going to have real pretty scores on the top of it but it's actually a functional score right it's pretty and functional you can't beat that and like i say i'll go down in it down to the meat um did y'all know why we'll tend to eat pork for good luck at the new year because pigs are considered in a lot of cultures to be progress and success because of the way they root forward while they're eating on the ground and i get it but here on our farm <laughs> we consider pigs quite the little nuisance because they'll get in our pastures and root them all up and our grass is gone for our beef cattle so um we don't quite consider them that way but i'll tell you what we do we do like how they taste and we think they're delicious so that's all that matters right y'all see how i've got this nice and scored like that hold that up for y'all y'all got a new camera going on us so y'all be patient with me i spent some money on this one okay so maybe it's going to be a good one for us um see how that looks nice and pretty okay i'm going to place it in my roaster all right i'm going to wash my hands and get rid of my uh, plastic cutting board here so we'll have a clean surface i'll be right back okay guys next we need to make a flavorful rub for this little pork roast so we're going to start with two teaspoons of salt one two mine sea salt iodized make sure you get your iodine okay and then we're going to use some rubbed sage and i'm going to use one teaspoon if you have ground sage cut that in half okay use about a half a teaspoon reason being rubbed sage the difference is it's literally been rubbed like this so it's still fluffy and has some consistency like that to it and ground is more dense okay so just cut it in half if you're using ground and you'll be fine um let's see the next thing i love to use is oregano i love oregano if you don't like sage or you don't like oregano cut one or the other out okay just whatever you want to do make this your own little rub it'll be just fine um let's see i also need some ground pepper and i need about a teaspoon of it so let's grind okay grind 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 y'all need know i use the pepper melange it's got red and black and pink and green and white all right and then next, I need some mustard powder, just like this. And let's see, I'm going to need one teaspoon of mustard powder. My teaspoon won't fit down in here, so I have a half teaspoon, okay? So I've got one teaspoon of mustard powder. And then I need some garlic powder, and I'm going to use one teaspoon of garlic powder. Mmm, this is already smelling good. Yes, it is. All right, guys, let's see. What else do I need in here? I've got my garlic powder, my mustard powder, my pepper, my oregano, my sage, and my salt. We're good. Just gonna kind of stir it around like that. Now I'm going to add 
some apple cider vinegar, just about a tablespoon. This will kind of just cuts through that richness of that pork. I like it, just about a tablespoon, okay? And now, to bring this all together and keep our roast nice and moist on the outside, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of olive oil. And if you don't do olive oil, you can use canola oil or vegetable oil or coconut oil, whatever oil you like, okay? I love olive oil for this, I sure do. Now, I'm gonna stir it one more time. We're gonna get our roast over here and rub him down. I'm always curious what that tastes like, are y'all? Mmm, it tastes good. If you want to add a little spice to it, you can put some red pepper flakes. I do every once in a while, or a little bit of cayenne. So make it your own, okay? All right. I sprayed my big roaster down with nonstick cooking spray, so I won't be dealing with that. And I'm merely going to put this all over it, just like this. Yum! Yum, yum, yum. Y'all know what? We don't go, we're not going to waste this, are we? No, we're not. So let's put all of it on there with a spatula, just like that. And guys, the only way to really get it on here good, I'm going to take off my rings, is to rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. And I'll flip it over and I'll get some on the ends and the sides and the bottom and everywhere, everywhere, okay? down in those slices we made in that fat cap. And I kind of like to elongate mine, so I'll sort of push him like I'm shaping a meatloaf, I guess you'd say. Just like that, make him longer instead, because he comes in the package like that, and I kind of try to make him like that. Does that make sense? All right, I need to wash one more time. Okay, y'all, now I'm going to take a can of chicken broth and I'll put how, how much it's 14 and a half ounces I actually can see that today I'm gonna pour it along the side okay don't pour it on top you'll wash off your seasonings we just worked on and then I'm gonna use this can and I'm gonna get me some apple cider this time and I'm gonna make my can about half full okay so maybe about a cup of apple cider. And I'm also gonna pour that just to the side like this. Okay, I've preheated our oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna slide this in uncovered for 40 minutes. Then I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna turn it down on 325 and let it slow roast, okay? So I'll see y'all then. Can y'all see how pretty it is? Um, it's been 40 minutes. So now I'm turning my oven down on 325 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to cover it now. And I'm gonna let it go another hour and a half. Then in an hour and a half, I'm gonna uncover it and let it cook some more for about another hour and a half to two hours. Okay guys, I'll see y'all then. Y'all, our pork roast has been in there an hour and a half covered, so it's time to uncover him again. I know. He needs a lot, doesn't he? I know. We let him roast covered, though, after we cooked him on high, high. Ooh. Ooh, I wish y'all could smell that. I'm going to baste him just a little bit, guys. First, I want to see if y'all can see him. Can y'all see him good? I bet you can't. Let me bring him up there. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I know, I know I'm silly guys, okay. All right, get too excited over food, don't I? Okay, y'all, I'm just basting him a little bit with a ladle, putting some of that good gravy we're making on the bottom. I'm leaving it on 325 that we had it on. I uncovered him, okay? Now he needs to go and get this in here. He needs to go another hour and a half to two hours. Look what we just pulled out of the oven. It went another hour and a half. So that's hour and a half, hour and a half. That's three hours plus that 40 minutes on that 425 degrees, was it? 
but it gets nice and tender. I'm gonna pull it up here. I'm gonna get it out and put it on a platter and I'm gonna show you a sign to know that he's real tender, okay? Let me scoot this to the side and put this down. It's hot we gotta save all that juice down in there. We gotta make some gravy, right? I haven't forgotten. No, I haven't. We use this little platter. I got it at Mammoo's. I've had it for some time. And again, I love dishes that the bottom of it's just as pretty as the inside. <laughs> That's so silly. So silly, because you just can't quite see the bottom, can you? All right, guys. Pull him out of here and put him right here to rest. He's pretty. He be looking good. Yes. I want to show y'all this. It's what I'm talking about. Y'all see how this bone is literally ready to just pull out by itself. Y'all see how it's sticking out right there? I hope you can. It's ready to just come out right by itself. Y'all see that? Yeah. He's tender. That is a sign he is ready. Ready to roll. I'm going to let him rest and we're going to make that gravy. Y'all see how I'm just shredding this and it's just falling slap apart, baby. Don't that look good? Oh, it looks, it looks just great. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, my goodness. Ooh, yes. Baby. Mm. <laughs> mm. We're just going to stand up and make supper, huh? That's wonderful right mm. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he turned out so pretty he just had his photo shoot and John was salivating off to the side wanting to get some bites <laughs> she was having to she was having to almost give me a spanking to keep me out of it <laughs> I was I'm telling you mm. okay mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out of it till supper now okay all right I gotta make us some gravy y'all see this pretty broth down there Looks good like that, doesn't it? I'm going to pour it into this big pan for us. Just like that. I hope y'all can see. Put that under y'all. Will y'all hold that for me? Put this down here, guys. We'll zoom on in this pan. There we go. And I'm going to turn the fire up on it. And I have got two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm going to whisk in here vigorously. Do y'all know vigorously? <laughs> there we go. It's funny, in Louisiana, just a few minutes, get something so humid it won't come out. <laughs> That's the humidity in Louisiana. And all we're going to do now is let that cook down. Just like that. Your whisk will keep you from having any lumps in your gravy, so that's what's good. Plus, I didn't let it get hot before I put that flour in there. And I'm going to go on and put some more ground pepper in there. And I'm going to let this cook down for about 10 minutes, guys, and it's going to be beautiful to go over our roast. Hey guys, y'all see how it's reduced down and gotten nice and gravy consistency for us. Yes, it looks good, doesn't it? Now I can turn it down on low. Something I love to do to freshen it, you can either put some lime over your meat or you can put some lime in here. It just freshens it right up. We need to taste it. Yes, we do. See if we need any more salt and pepper. I'll kind of go back so, so we can see each other, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, huh? Let's taste it. Mmm. It doesn't need anything, guys. Oh, my goodness, that tastes good. And that's all we did that for. You can put some when you serve that roast all over the roast, or you can just put it on your individual servings like that. And enjoy. Baby, are you are you circling around wanting this with the gravy on it? I, I really was. Well, come here. You can come right here while I'm pouring up our gravy. <laughs> mm. 
-hmm. You enjoy it. I don't have a fork, but you can use your fingers. I don't care. Finger, see? Guys, I love to um, mm -hmm. pour it up in a little gravy boat. A gravy boat. Mm -hmm. Toot, toot. Um, there's a pretty one. John says it looks like an Aladdin lamp. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't even remember where I got that thing. Oh, baby, that gravy's good. Mm -mm. I don't know where I got it, to be honest with you. I didn't pay a lot for it. That's, that's what I can promise you. And this one I ordered years and years ago from LTD Commodities back when it was ABC Distributing. And it says, surround us with love and bless us with laughter. And I love it, it looks very fall-like or special, right? So you just pour it up in here, just like this. See if I can do this without a disaster, huh? Yum! Ooh, baby, that's perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> it sure was. I'm not even going to move it, guys, because it filled it up just right. So anyway, now you can have it on your table for everybody to pour over their roast. All right, now we are leaving. <laughs> We're not even going to be hungry once I we sit it. down for supper. <laughs> but it's going to be okay. And I've got to have the rest of this thing. <laughs> it's in your possession. It's You're in not my letting possession, it go, see? Huh? Yeah. Okay, baby. Bye-bye, <laughs> mm, awesome. guys.